little bit. I do? Yeah, but it's cute though. Damn. <laughs> Ready? We're here with Mario Lopez. Mario, what brings you to these events? Well, of course, the big eight ball world championships mm -hmm. and the uh, the man versus woman battle of the sexes. Battle of the sexes competition. I'm fascinated by that. Now, you said you're fascinated by it, but who would you put your money on? I'll tell you what, it's it's it, it really is a, a flip of the coin because obviously uh, physical strength, stamina don't really mean a thing, mm -hmm. anything in this particular sport. So I'm leaning towards the lady. Really? I've learned the hard way not to uh, ever go against the lady. So that's that's the route I'm taking. I'm sticking with the missus. I say that's a very smart thing to say. I, I, I think so. I mean, I think she has a very focused, a very intense look in her eyes, and I think she's going to uh, persevere. And also, isn't it kind of like she has a little less to lose? You know, if a woman wins, it's like, oh my God, wow, she beat the man. If the right. man loses, it's like, oh, you got whipped by a woman. He's got a little pressure on him, yes. And so, no, I, that's a very good point. That was the next point I was going to make. So I think, I think she will prevail, and I'm willing to take bets. <laughs> now, would you put money on her? Yes, I would definitely put money on her. Yeah. Why? Do you want to bet? Are you going for the guy? No, I think I'm. Well, I think I might make side bets on both of them. Wait, do you know what the odds are right now? Who's favorite? Um, I think he is, but I'm not sure. Well, they're both the best in their gender. Of all time, I hear, or they're, you know, yeah. it's in, they're in that vein at least, so should be a good match nonetheless. And no matter what, it's still a huge event. I mean, the loser is going to take home seventy-five thousand dollars, which is more than the winner has ever taken home ever. That doesn't sound like a loser to me. So it's kind of a win-win situation. So there's like major winner and junior winner. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's like first runner-up. That's not a bad. Thing. That's not a bad thing at all. Now, what kind of experience do you have at pool? Are you good? You got skills? I love pool. I actually uh, grew up with a pool table, and, and uh, you know, my parents had a pool table. My my dad and I. That's one of our favorite pastimes. We love to listen to the music. To this day, we listen to throwing music. We shoot a game of pool, and it's funny because my dad will start off a two out of three, and then I'll beat him, and then it turns into a three out of five, and he'll beat me, and it's a best of seven, and on and on, on. and it's the best. So you're pretty good then. I don't know about that. I, I, it, pool's the kind of game. It's like golf. You got to constantly always play or constantly be playing to to keep your game sharp because you can lose it really quick. Now there's some trash talkers here. None other than uh, there's Mr. Anthony Anderson behind us. Do you think you could take him? I don't know. I haven't seen my man Anthony play, so I don't like to call anybody out without uh, seeing him. But I know Anthony. I know it'd be a good time playing him. We might have to set that up. Okay, look into it. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye. All right.